My, uh, my, my next guest, you can always catch him down at the uh, Laugh Resort. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome for Ed Marianne. Ed! Thank you very much. Uh, it's good to be here on the Badger Show. Uh, I've been on a real self-improvement kick recently, so I, I went to my favorite bookstore to buy a book that I've been recommended to me called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Dr. Stephen Covey. And uh, I took the book home and I read it, and I gotta tell you, I was very disappointed to find that sleeping in and collecting unemployment were not on the list. <laughs> and uh, while I was in the bookstore, like a lot of people do, I was browsing through the most recent uh, Joy of Sex books. I think it's called The New Joy of Sex. And uh, as I was flipping the pages, uh, I remember thinking to myself, man, you need a partner for some of this stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm terribly addicted to those match three scratch and win lottery tickets. And I don't know about you guys, but I find they're such a tease. Because you always start off with the promise of some huge prize and uh, inevitably end up with nothing. I was thinking, wouldn't it be funny if your fate in life was decided by a scratch and win kind of a system? Huh? Born with a big silver patch over your head? Your parents could hardly wait to take you home so they could scratch it off with their thumbnail. And it would always be the same cruel joke. It would always be, oh, I wonder what our son or daughter is going to be. Oh, scratch, 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 doctor, doctor, lawyer. Hey, this is looking pretty good. Scratch, 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 lawyer, accountant, accountant. Not bad. Scratch, scratch, loser, loser, loser. Rats. Hey, any Star Trek fans here today? Yeah? Star Trek fans? Great show, Star Trek, but uh, I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was a kid. My dad said it was obviously fake. I said, well, Dad, what do you mean? He said, well, for one thing, here you've got this huge spaceship, probably the biggest vehicle ever built, and it doesn't even have a steering wheel. Said, yeah, but come on, Dad, it's in the future. They use a computer to drive the ship. He says, bah, that's not driving, that's piping. Said, listen, pal, I didn't get to meet your mom doing this. Hey, baby, you want to go for a drive in my muscle car? Here, let me get the door for you. Tab, tab. <laughs> hey, gang, look at me. I'm burning rubber in a parking lot. Whoa. Uh-oh, watch out for that student driver. Not, uh, not much of a risk taker, my dad, either. Remember this one time we said, Hey, Dad, how about making us some Jiffy Pop? He just looked at us and said, Jiffy Pop, are you nuts? A friend of mine made Jiffy Pop one time. Blew his head clean off. <laughs> Jiffy Pop. It's just a bloody time bomb on the end of a coat hanger. <laughs> but eventually he'd give in and he'd make it for us, you know. But uh, he'd make us go into the basement while he made it. He'd tie a broomstick to the Jiffy Pop handle. Stand 10 feet from the stove. Shield himself with a garbage can lid. Thank you. Uh, five years of uh, acting and mime classes went into that bit, so thank you very much. Here's, uh, here's some advice for you. If you've ever had a fight with your boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, spouse, whatever, and you want to make up with them but you don't quite know what to say, just go to your, your favorite record store and pick up a copy of Dan Hill's Greatest Hits and take it home and uh, plagiarize as many of the lyrics as you think you might need. Just do one of these. Hello, baby? Yeah, listen, uh... Sometimes when we touch, yeah, the honesty's too much. And I have to uh, close my eyes and hide. Yeah, I know it sounds like a crock, but this time I really mean it. Yeah, I just want to hold you till I die or till we both break down and cry. just want to hold you till the fear in me subsides, for God's sake. What's that? You'd rather hurt me honestly than mislead me with a lie. So why don't I just eat raw meat and die? Hey, you must have the bootleg version. <laughs> and finally, and finally, I'm, uh, I'm a huge hockey fan, and I'm uh, waiting for the day that the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Maple Leafs will play in the Stanley Cup Finals. I think that'll be great. Personally, I think that the uh, Leafs could beat the Canadians on the ice, but for sure the Habs would win the battle of the public address announcers. Because you know for sure that the announcers at the Montreal Forum have a better handle on English names than the guys at the gardens have on French names. <laughs> you, get a, you get a couple of particularly difficult French names like... Le but des Canadiens, compté par le numéro 18, Jacques Vaillancourt. Assisté par le numéro 22, Yves Baudouin. You know, for sure, at the gardens, it's going to sound like this. Canadians goal, scoring by number 18, Jaquez Valencourt. <laughs> Assisted by number 22, Ivis Baudouin. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. That's my time. Yes, all right.
Excellent. How you doing? All right. Hey, Marion folks. Stay here, Ed. <laughs> We're going to take it over to uh, Joe Reynolds. Thank you very much. Take it away, Joe. Thank <laughs> you. 